slow web apps suck. They suck so much so that they made me quit my job so I can build my own super fast app. But how do you make your web app fast? I will now go through a list of backend and frontend things that you can do to make your web app fast. On the frontend, you can make your file size small. So the smaller the size, the quicker it can download and the quicker it can launch and open. Now, once the app downloads, it's going to be cached, but that doesn't really matter because that very first experience when people try your app is very important in then deciding whether they want to stick around using your app or not. Avoid vector illustrations for your icons. Even though they can look sharp, they can be really big and they can generally slow down your app. So try and convert these to PNGs if you can. Now, when it comes to the library, whichever one you choose, whether it's React, Vue.js or Angular or any other, try and remove all the packages that come with the library that you're not going to be using because that's going to reduce the file size, the DOM nodes and everything else, making your app generally faster. When it comes to the DOM nodes, try and make them as shallow as you can. So if you have a lot of DOM nodes nesting on many levels, the GPU and the CPU, generally speaking, finds that very hard to render. So the shallower the nodes are, the less DOM nodes you have nested, the faster your app is going to be. Use local first with optimistic updates. So what does that mean? Let's say you have to write a piece of content inside one of your interfaces. Basically what you do is you write it inside of your memory store, which is what your library normally has. So for example, Vuex or for React, it's something like Redux. So write it there, show it on your interface and do the update for the server behind the scenes, optimistically assuming that the record is going to be updated. And if it's not, kind of revert changes quickly. Use WebSockets where you can. If I have an interface and I'm working with somebody on the same interface, it's really nice to see when information element updates in front of you in real time. Keep stuff in memory for quick access. I don't know if you knew, but your browser has storage, which means that you can keep your information inside of that storage. So even when you go offline, you can load some of these elements, at least for reading, if not for updating. Now let's talk about the back end. On the back end, try and use a programming language that's close to the metal. So you have various types of languages. If you look at languages like Python, Java, they use virtual machines where your code gets compiled down to bytecode and that gets interpreted into the machine code. So if you can use a language where you can compile your app down to machine code, so it's close to the silicon, that's normally going to be faster. Use database caching. That means that rather than having to go with a database where you have to request a record from the database, use various strategies for caching, like write-through caching or hydration caching, which means that your record will be ready for you in memory without you even having to hit the database. So if you want to find out about that a bit more, check out one of my other videos on database caching. Use a NoSQL database if you can. Even if you're using a SQL database, use it in a no SQL way. Now, if you use a NoSQL database, you're having to do things like queues, so kind of pre-prepare the data into a single record, which is much harder in a way, but then you end up with a result where you're just kind of directly accessing a piece of text rather than having to do these drawings in the background, which take up time. And the last thing is try and ensure that the server is near the user. So for example, if you are calling a server from here in England, which is in America, there's a 50 milliseconds round trip. But if you're calling a server, which is in England, and you're calling it from England, the round trip may be like only a few milliseconds, resulting in a much faster performance. So building fast web apps is really hard. You have to use things like NoSQL, local first, you have to optimize your networking correctly, but the results are really worth it. And when people try and use a fast app, they will sense that the people who built it have put care and attention into it, and they will appreciate it even more. And you'll have more chance of people retaining with your fast app rather than an app which has been done carelessly. So definitely make your app faster using those tips. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next week.